I realized at that point that um, anybody could be a hero. I mean, imagine saving somebody's life. I signed my donor card at that point, and I told my family that that's what I wanted to do. You may wonder why a company like Sundex is, um, is involved in, in something like this. Well, you now you know why that touched me. Sundex is involved because every year we said, you know, we're not big like IBM, we can't do events. And every year we said the same thing. Finally, I realized, you don't have to do something big. You have to do something. Um, I had done my part, but raising awareness and getting everybody else to participate is a little bit more. In 30 years, the gap between donors and, and people waiting for organs will certainly be probably gone. I mean, as more people become aware of this, it's going to be people dying because of liver failure, people dying because of, of heart failure is maybe going to be a thing of the past. Imagine that. But right now, there are people waiting. I know you've heard it before. But that's what my point is. So I urge you guys to talk to your family and sign your organ donor card. Um, just so you know a little bit about what happened yesterday, it was a, it was a chili contest, which um, you probably imagine I got the idea from The Simpsons, so um, it was real hit. Um, the purpose of the, uh, of the chili cook-off was to get 1,700 people in Toronto to sign their organ donation, don donation card and talk to their loved ones. Um, we handed out, I, I urged everybody there not to take a card unless they were going to sign it. There was no pressure. Same here. Take the card if you're going to sign it. And we don't have the final numbers, but um, the folks at Trillium Gift of Life Network said that they handed out a few hundred cards, which wasn't as many as I, I had hoped. Um, and we're still waiting for the downloads on the internet. Um, that's a small token. It, it's almost just a gesture compared to what Chris's goal is to have everyone in Canada sign their organ donor card. But we're trying to do our part. I can't tell you how proud I am of my aunt and her family. Um, and I can't tell you how proud I am of, of Chris. I mean, when I was 13, I don't think I would have even thought of walking across Canada. I don't know if I could do it now. But, I mean, what a fantastic idea, and what a, what a great way to raise awareness. And it's really fantastic you guys get behind it. Thanks. Thank you, Paul. Um, we still got Mr. Kennedy in the house. <laughs> Thank you. He's on a really tight schedule. I'm glad he's hanging around. Okay, so are you guys Ready for our star? Yeah. You? Yeah. Come on, let's hear it. Yeah. You know the best is always at the last, right? Yeah. And patience is a, a virtue. And, and that's what everybody's waiting for, is to see Chris, right? And hear him talk, right? And, and, and he's also available, girls. Um, I, want to, I want to ask the audience, I want to ask the audience if they remember Terry Fox. How many, how many people in the audience remember Terry Fox? Oh, quite a few, yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he, he left quite an impression on all of us. Do you remember his dream? I don't know if your parents told you about it, or if you heard about it in movies or other things that you read from Terry Fox. When he started his walk across Canada uh, in 1980, he had a dream. His dream was to donate, uh, have every Canadian, he was asking every Canadian to donate one dollar to the Canadian Cancer Society. And, and look what he's achieved 24 years later. Christopher Knowles has a dream. And he started his dream January 8th of this year from his hometown, Sarnia. His dream, his wish, is to have every Canadian become an organ donor. He is not going to settle for one person not becoming an organ donor. He's saying, I want to see everybody become an organ donor. 
and nothing short of that. And he's on day 30 today. He's the most determined boy that I've ever seen, the most courageous boy. Um, he doesn't whine. He likes eating a lot. Uh, he, he loves uh, his Xbox. Uh, he loves Blink-182. He, he loves uh, hockey. And he's right here, introducing Christopher's Wish. Uh, Christopher Moore. Ladies and gentlemen, a portrait of uh, Christopher Knowles. And Billy would like to say a few words. Very few words. Um, I'm very glad to be here. Uh, this is a great school. This used to be my school. It rocks. Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience. I'm going to turn it over to your principal now. Thank you. One last tribute, we're going to ask Travis to come up. We have all had the privilege of listening to this particular music at our concerts this year and to enjoy Travis's music for the last three years. Uh, Christopher, one of the fine examples of the good work that we do, and in passing, the band this morning is a collection of mostly grade 